for once. It's elegant in its simplicity. It's so corny, it can't miss. Beautiful temptress, Sandy, seduces, induces wild and crazy egghead scientist to drop his humdrum life and spend the rest of his days doing the two things he likes best. Hot research and hot nookie. Hmm? So, what do you think of all this elegant simplicity? Good. Been accepted. Fox School of Basic Training. The course will cover the life and times of one Hiroshi Yamuri. Hiroshi has edge big time. Success, money, talent, women. Life comes easy to him. It's this justified arrogance which is causing him to chafe under the uh, yoke of mass schmuck researchers. And we're gonna... The look on his face says it all. He's among them, but he's not of them. He's a freak. He takes a whole field of science. He shatters it. Every accepted concept, he brings on the violent revision of an entire body of knowledge. Hot proteins, huh? Who would have thought it? High-speed links. You know what you get when your lab guys does that? Basic patents. That's a synonym for tax-free, sometimes billions. Our guy doesn't like to play by the rules. He's always giving the suits hard buying. The word on Hiroshi is, he's fed up with corporate politics. I I'm finished with it. No more Hiroshi. Well, let's find something else to do. There's plenty of work out there. Before you and I hooked up, tell me again, what was your great coup in corporate espionage? There we go again. No, no, allow me to remind you, you had a helicopter fly over a smokestack, yes? Yes. Capture some smoke. So as it could be analyzed to figure out what was in this alloy they were making. Good. The problem was, this alloy was obsolete in six months. You might as well spend your time bartending. You finished? It was me. Opened your eyes to corporate defectives. That's where the money is. Everything else is waiting. at the health desk. The world of medicine has seen its share of miracle cures, from the polio vaccine to heart transplants, but all past achievements may pale in comparison to the work of Dr. Alice Crippen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So, Dr. Crippen, give it to me in a nutshell. Well, the premise is quite simple. Um, take something designed by nature and reprogram it to make it work for the body rather than against it. You're talking about a virus? Indeed, yes, in this case, the measles um, virus, which has been engineered at a genetic level to be helpful rather than harmful. Um, and I, I find the best way to describe it is if you, can, if you can imagine your body as a highway and you picture the virus as a very fast car um, being driven by a very bad man, imagine the damage that that car could cause. Mm. Then if you replace that man with a cop, the picture changes, and that's essentially what we've done. And how many people have you treated so far? Well, we've had 10,009 um, clinical trials in humans so far. And how many are cancer-free? 10,009. So you have actually cured cancer? Yes, yes. Yes, we have. 